Okay, so I want to look at a few things in Workflow Max as well. So Workflow Max is uh, job and project management uh, provided by Zero. So it's a Zero add-on, but it's actually owned by the same company. Um, I want to have a look at a few things, uh, and in this particular video, we're going to look at some of the reporting functions. So I'm in Workflow Max here. Uh, up the top, I've got reports. There's a couple of different things here. There's financial reports, and this will give you a whole range of things such as work in progress, profit and loss, client revenue, those kind of things. So each one's got a fairly um, good description that will tell you what it needs to do. Um, click on a particular report, put a filter in, um, and you can print it off or, or save it to your hard drive. The area that's really good is the report builder. So I'm just going to talk you through some of this now. So it's pretty much possible in Workflow Max to report whatever you want. It's just up to you to build it right. So first of all, we need to create a report and we need to specify what's the, the primary filter we're looking at. So is it a report of invoices, of jobs, of tasks, of costs? Um, what are we actually reporting on? So for this example, um, I'm going to do a report on quotes, for example. So that's my primary uh, filter. And then if I hover over create, I've got a few options here. In most cases, you're probably going to want a table report. That's going to give you a nice kind of spreadsheet style report showing you all the information. Um, you have also got monthly summaries, bar charts, pie charts. Um, the bottom two are more useful for kind of dashboards or providing kind of simple overviews to your staff. Um, if you want to draw down any of the information, you really want a table report. So with that selected, I get a few options. Um, give it a title. I would always suggest you give it something a little less generic. If you just call it quote report, um, you're not really going to know um, exactly what's being reported here. At least put your name on it, if nothing else, so that your other staff members know who, it's, uh, who, who designed this. So in this case, I'm just going to give this a name. Um, we can then pick every single field that we want to show on this particular report. So these are all the fields that we have against a quote, followed by all the fields we have against the client as well. Um, if you use custom fields, you can also show those on here as well. Um, I'll do them in another video. Um, so you can build this report out to be whatever you want. So um, if we select a few different fields here, um, then we can show them on the report. Okay, so I've just put some filters on, oh sorry, some columns on there. So this report is going to show these columns. Um, I've just dropped down and just ticked the ones that I want. It's going to go from top to bottom, uh, left to right in the table. So I'm going to get the client name, the address, uh, the name of the quote, the amount of the quote and what's been accepted, if anything, uh, the contact details and when the quote's valid to. So this is a particularly useful report I could build up to then uh, report once a week and show uh, which of my quotes are due. I can nice and easily contact uh, the client. Um, I can see if they've accepted anything. It's just a really good overview report. But as I said before, you, you can build these out to whatever you want. So I can now select criteria. So by default, this is going to show me every quote in the system. I don't necessarily want that because I'm going to see history for the last however many months or years I've been using the system. So again, all the same options we can also use as filters. So in this case, I'm going to say I want a quote, um, but I want one that do, 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 under state, um, so job state, um, I want to only have those that have been issued. So I can also say that I want the ones issued or revised um, or drafted. So it's going to show me quotes that are in this particular um, state. The reason I don't want accepted and declined quotes is I'm going to have already followed them up. I just want those that need my attention right now. Um, you can obviously do excludes or includes. I can put another criteria on if I want. Just be aware that if you do that, just to manage this line here. So at the moment, because this is all, if I say it needs to be this state, and then I say it also needs to be uh, this address. It's going to look only for things that have both of those filters. Um, if you want it to look for one or the other, then just change this to sum. 
So the moment it's going to show me all of those that are issued, revised or drafted with these columns here. Um, finally, the last thing I need to do is just some uh, settings for publishing. So um, who can view this report? By default, only the user creating it can view it, but you can select other staff or all staff or whatever you want. Um, you can also set here whether um, you want grouping, whether staff can change information and so on. Um, and then here you can preview the report if you want. Um, in this case, I don't actually have quotes saved, so if I preview the report, it's not going to be too interesting. But you can see obviously the column headers here. Um, and then the most important thing I'll do is just back on this page, give it a save. So I can either uh, save, save and carry on doing some editing, or save and then preview the results. So I'm just going to give this a save for the moment. And now if I go reports and my reports, then I've got my quote report too. Um, as well, if I just tick on here like a favorite, so I've got this little star, then if I uh, just refresh my screen, hover over reports, and the favorite comes through here as well. So it's one of the main reasons that I particularly like Workflow Max and implementing it with clients. Um, once you kind of get your head around having the blank canvas of reporting, there is so much power to the reports that you can do. Cool. I hope you appreciated that and we'll carry on to some more things in different videos.